Lake Copper Harbor Trails Festival has wrapped up its 20th year. The 17 and 27 mile cross country riders will not forget this one for a while. A downpour at 1130 AM made the course muddy and slippery. Some found out the hard way. Both races had a controlled start on M26 just west of Copper Harbor's main intersection. After that, staying in control appeared optional at times. And take a look at this upcoming view on a ledge above a wood connector. Look how high that is. I'm kind of scared. The first 17 miles cruised through pretty well, but after that, there was some trouble. The second rider coming through here will lose traction and fell, and he almost fell off the connector. It's kind of scary. Fortunately, the third rider and a fan came to his rescue. However, that caused a small traffic jam on that section for a minute or so. But when everything times out correctly, here's actually how this wood section works. You make a tight turn, then go down to the ground level, complete with month's bladder. Painsdale's Pete Karenin leads a small group of 27 milers through this trail about one mile south of Copper Harbor, just off US 41. Madison's Abby Striegel finds the proper line over a big rock on the red trail section. Sometimes going over the rock is actually easier than going on either side of it. Striegel won the women's race in a little less than two hours and one minute. She didn't mind the conditions and her experience came in handy on the tougher parts of the course. It wasn't that bad. It was, there was a lot of mud, but um, the trails soak up the water really well and you can still rail in the corners and go over firms and, and uh, fly on the downhill. So. The faster you go, the less likely it is to fall, so just keep, keep up the pace. Ride together in a group of three, and then one guy came off the back. About two miles to go on the last lap, the other guy flatted out, so got flat tire. Came around him. This proves Striegel's point about speed. This rider is trying to be cautious, but he doesn't have enough speed, and he will take quite a tumble, and he will be okay, and he indirectly broke the birch tree. Oscar Karanen of Painsdale won the men's 17-mile race in 1 hour, 17 minutes, and 19 seconds, while Jen Barden of Wausau, Wisconsin, won the women's 17-miler in 1 hour, 24 minutes, and 39 seconds. Over in some scores, in women's soccer, Bethany Lutheran defeated Finlandia 1-0. And in the men's game, they got beat by Bethany Lutheran 2-1, and Jamie Cuevas scored the Lions' only goal. For scores and highlights, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. All right, quite the match they had there, right? Yes, so Sloan actually defeated Serena in the Australian U.S. Open, so she got her revenge today. It was a great match. <laughs> All right, I would not want to compete against her in anything. No, 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 she's too good. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. We'll be right back with your final story.